Alright, and I think this is going to be my first series review, so bear with me. The Ring, the Japanese horror movie that really started the whole craze of Japanese horror movie translations in the West. A varying success, but I'm going to talk about the book series that really started it all, and it is The Ring Trilogy by Koji Suzuki. I recently finished Birthday by Koji Suzuki, and this is a collection of short stories, three short stories, and in my opinion, more like a two short stories than a novella, kind of elaborating a little bit more into each book of the trilogy. For some basic rundown of the plot of The Ring, which has been made into so many different movies in so many different languages and countries that, you know, just a touch base here. So just a basic rundown of the plot. The plot centers around a reporter who is trying to investigate some unexplained deaths of some teenagers, and the reporter traces back to a videotape which the rumor is that seven days after watching it, you will die. And then the reporter goes on to try to unravel the mystery of the ring in order to save lives. The books and the movies, the, the movies, the two movies that people are aware of are pretty similar in the sense that they're pretty faithful to each other, the Japanese movie and then the American remake, which I think most people would have probably seen those two at least. But the only real difference between the Japanese movie and the American movie is in the Japanese movie you never actually see the girl's face. She Even in pictures of her in the past she has a veil over her face which adds an extra level of creepiness in my opinion and also it adds um, an extra layer of explanation that her mother is psychic so logic dictates that the girl is also psychic which might explain why she can do all these things after she dies. But after all that, it's the the two movies are pretty similar, but this is where the stories kind of diverge, and which I was kind of surprised in reading The Ring, which is the first book in the trilogy. The second book in the trilogy is Spiral, and the third book in the trilogy is Loop. And as I told you before, Birthday is the prequel extra extra short stories related to the series. So pretty much the big difference in Ring is that the, the protagonist is actually male and he is trying to figure out a way to save his wife and infant daughter. Um, so this is really the first time that I've seen a movie in which the protagonist in the book was originally male, but in the movies they made the protagonist female and then they added that little extra love triangle thing or the tension where the guy that the reporter is trying to get help from is potentially the father of their son and they're trying to help their son. In the book it's a bit different. Um, in the book he realizes that this tape is probably going to kill his family and he needs some help so he decides to get help from his friend who he admits is pretty much a scumbag so he figures it's not so bad if he dies as well if they don't figure out the mystery of the ring. So that's a big difference. And the guy is a pretty big scumbag. He is not pleasant, but he's very smart. So um, together they go and try to find the mystery of the ring. And another big difference between the movies and the book is that the girl, Sadako, she is not a girl. She is a young woman. I think she is either 19 or 20 when she dies. So that's another big difference. In general, the, the book is very, very eerie and creepy. Even if you have seen the movies and you're trying to seek out exactly what is going on and trying to piece pieces of the puzzle together. And because the all three movies are slightly different, it's not like you know everything. Um, in the book there are little nuggets that didn't get transferred into the movies that are a little bit enlightening. And also I feel like the books actually give a little bit more insight into who this female figure is and why is she doing this? And actually I feel like in the first book you sympathize with her a little bit and really feel a little bit of sense of poetic justice, in my opinion. Um, in Spiral, it actually picks up almost exactly after the first book and the narration shifts from the reporter to the person who's doing the autopsy on one of the bodies. And you discover more things about how these people die and it gives a little bit more insight into exactly what we're dealing with with this entity, this female entity, and exactly what she wants. There is a big shocker and I felt that Spiral was a pretty good sequel to Ring in that there are very, very creepy moments which I typically only feel when I'm watching a movie and I was 
really one of the few times, besides re reading House of Leaves, in which I was anxious that moment where something is going to jump out, I was feeling that when I was reading it. I really enjoyed that in this book, and the ending kind of really takes you for a loop. It goes in a direction that you totally don't expect. I was surprised. But, going to the final book in the trilogy, Loop, I have to be honest, I wish Loop never existed. If it could just be two books in a series, I would be totally happy. It sh I feel personally it should have ended at Spiral. Loop tried to elaborate on certain ideas of the ring or certain aspects of the story to explain a little bit more that, that the reader didn't really care that much about. Like, oh, we're going to answer these questions. And then I was like, I didn't have those questions. And I felt that the direction that the last book took kind of, in a sense, invalidated everything in the first two books. I don't know why this person did this. Kosei Suzuki, you don't know science. Please stop writing it. I mean, sure, science comes in a little bit in the first book, but it's negligible. But then it comes in a little bit more in the second book, and you're like, ah, he's a writer. I can handle these inaccuracies a little bit. But in the third book, it's like, you don't know what you're talking about. Please don't. This makes no sense. The third book, it's less horror, but more sci-fi, which I really didn't like the break in genre between the trilogies. I mean, I feel if it's a horror trilogy, it should be a horror story theme throughout all three books. Not horror, horror, sci-fi. I felt that the interpretation of all of the events was similar to saying that it was all a dream. But they did really happen, but not in the same way that you think that they happened, which really ruined it for me. So I probably won't be buying the third book in the trilogy just by buying the first two. Also bringing up this book of short stories, Birthday, I felt like the actual ordering of the short stories in this book was kind of weird. I felt that the second story should have been first, the first story should have been second, but each story really corresponds to one of the books in the series. I felt that these stories were elaborating on things that maybe really didn't need to be elaborated on, or they were elaborated on in just like a weird way that I felt didn't really add anything to the stories. I mean, there was one really creepy moment in the story of Coffin in the Sky. That was creepy with the singing and the creepy baby. Really creepy baby. Um, the thing about the Ring trilogy is that the thing that I really wanted him to answer was he just went in a completely different direction because it kind of felt like loss. Like, he really wanted to learn about this, but in the last season, they really just wanted to drop it and didn't want to talk about it, and they just went into a different direction. And I felt that that kind of happened here. For the first book, Ring, and then Spiral, you it kind of gets the end of that kind of storyline, so I felt that for Loop, the perfect ending to the series is to go backwards. So I actually wanted to see more of this girl when she was alive or before she was alive to actually explain her origin story a little bit more. Well, there's a point in the book The Ring and I was like, oh my god, that's so intriguing. I can't wait to read the rest of the series to find out more about this. But I was very disappointed to find out that they never actually touched on that ever again. So in general, if I'm going to advise you to read The Ring, and if you can do this, I would advise you to only read the first book, two books in the trilogy, and to skip the last one. And also you can skip this book of short stories, but if you have the book of short stories, only read the first two stories. That is my advice, because I really did not like Loop. I actually hated Loop. I just hated Loop. I think the writing is pretty simplistic. It's pretty easy. Um, it's mostly done in first person, and just like the story, and how he puts the story together, and how would, the way he sets up the story and the sets up the scene. I really like how he does that. Um, but I just really disappointed in his choices. I kind of see this pattern in his writing because I read other books of his. I read Paradise and he wrote, like the first two thirds of this book are good and then the last third is just falls apart and it's horrible. And in this book of short stories, the first two stories are good but the last one is just horrible. So I don't know. Here is my tip for you if you're going to think about reading Koji Suzuki. Don't read anything that involves science because he's probably going to do an epic fail of that and it just doesn't make sense if you 
if you're aware, if you understand scientific concepts and methods, you're gonna go crazy reading him. But as long as he sticks with horror, just horror, like psychics, ghosts, that kind of stuff, he's good. He's he's good. But I don't like the fact that he she's dabbling into science fiction now because it doesn't work. So that is my rambly kind of review of the series. I hope it wasn't too painful for you. Um, I hope you have a great day. Bye!